Hi, my name is Disha. Welcome to my life page. Today, I'll be discussing a little bit about wildlife conservation. Before that, let me make a quick introduction. So, I started my college education doing a bachelor's in mathematics from Delhi University. I then did a master's in environmental science, which was a distance program. So, I was essentially given the material, but I had the time during the year where I could travel and do a lot of field-based jobs. That's when I started uh, applying with some scientists. I started writing to some organizations, trying to find some field work for myself. So, during my internships, I did a diverse number of uh, field-based work, ranging from forests in the north to the south to many different kinds of forests. Conservation is basically when you treat wildlife as a resource, when you treat your natural surroundings and forests, wildlife species, everything as a resource. Conservation is, as the word suggests, how to best use that resource. How do you use it sustainably? How do you use it for the current generation so that there is enough left over for the future? The most important subject I feel is ecology, which is basically the study of ecosystems. So in it, you are essentially studying uh, not about any one species in particular, but you are studying about all the different kinds of biotic and abiotic factors in many different kinds of habitats and the relationships between those abiotic and biotic factors. So that is ecology and I believe that is the most important uh, thing to educate yourself about important thing if you'll be working on the field is to have field skills. So some of those field skills are observational skills for example. So when you're out in the field all of your senses have to be attuned to your surroundings. It's not just a question of what you're seeing. Make sure you're there in the present moment. You have to be listening to various calls and everything. You have to be very uh, observational and in the moment. That is a very important skill to have. One of the biggest advantages that comes to mind is a lot of traveling. It's not like you'll be fully living in the field, you won't be fully living in your cities. There's a lot of back and forth traveling. You'll be getting to experience different, different things. So that's pretty exciting. So one of the first things that comes to mind is the fact that you would have to be very mentally and emotionally strong. There will be long periods of isolation. You may not be with uh, the people you love, your family, your friends, your life that you're probably used to. When you're out in the field, you don't have any of that. Uh, oftentimes you may not even have network or you'll have spotty network. It's quite hard. So you have to be very satisfied in being your own person and having yourself for company or having completely new people for company, you would have to be fine with that too. Depends on which specific route you take within conservation. So out in the field, for example, you might have to say wake up by 3.30, 4 in the morning. You will have to make a quick breakfast for yourself and your team. Maybe a few of you will be up and making breakfast. Uh, before sunrise, generally, you will be asked to get ready and be sitting in the jeep and uh, driven out to your specific points out in the forest and uh, you'll start your work with sunrise mostly or whatever specific hour is your research objective. A lot of field work is what ensues for the next few hours. For example, when I was doing bird work, it was still afternoon, we would be out in the field. And in the afternoons, the birds are a little less active, so that was our time to be a little less active as well. So we used to drive back to our base camp. We used to maybe take a little bit of a nap, like catch up on our sleep, or we would have some data entry work to do. We might have some writing work to do. We might, you know, collect our findings together. Oh, we'll just talk, we'll be making lunch, we'll be having lunch. A few hours goes by like that, you'll be working on subsidiary things. And then eventually rolls on the evening where most likely you'll be taken out to the field again. The evening field work will begin and that will go on till about sunset. So till sunset, more hiking, more field work, more observation, more recordings, more everything. You come back at sunset, you work for your dinner. As a group probably you'll be preparing dinner. You'll be talking over your findings or you'll just be talking. You might like to catch up with your family if there's network. 
and uh, yeah you basically call it an early night so that's out in the field field season actually does not last throughout the year so when it's not field season that's usually the time that researchers will sit and you know collate their data you'll be working on it basically you'll be analyzing your data you'll be writing so that typically is more like your conventional job so you'll be in the city you'll be in your parent organization whether that's a research firm maybe that's an ngo so you will be asked to go to the office you will be writing out your reports and everything so you will just be putting that together so that's more like a typical 9 to 5 you know computer based thing so i hope i've given you a balanced view about wildlife conservation as a career and um, it's something that's extremely rewarding and uh, very very great to have as a career but it's very important to educate yourself on the requirements of the job It's not something that you just think you'll be out in nature all the time. I think a lot of people romanticize it quite a lot, but it has different different aspects and it really depends on you which aspect you choose to focus on. Thank you so much.